Hey you guys, it is William Colling from Booby Blogs, and UMK 2024 continues. The next act is Windows 95 Man, and he's released the song No Rules. That's not New Rules by Dua Lipa, that's No Rules by Windows 95 Man. Devon! Ooh, the music in Kilpaloo! Hey William, hey you guys! <laughs> Shall we listen and react? Let's, Let's do, do this! this. All right, on the Weebly Blogs website, there is a long post which details the backstory of Windows 95 Man as described by producers at UMK. But just to say, this character was invented at a DJ gig, has become a bit of a cult figure, and he's known for wearing a pair of very cut-off shorts and a Windows 95 t-shirt, which is apparently a thing. Perhaps you can find them in the vintage shops near you. At UMK, Windows 95 Man is singing No Rules, that's his motto, and the singer is actually someone named Henry Pispanin, and apparently Windows 95 Man says he needed Pispanin because only he could pull off the vocal. Quote, in my opinion, all Finns are a bit Looney Tunes deep inside, and I wanted to bring that out more. Now I can share my music with an even bigger audience, as well as spread the joyous message of No Rules. All right, and the UMK jury says, known until now as the ultimate party DJ, Windows 95 Man is releasing his first own song in UMK. Nostalgic Eurodance influences and fast tempos are on the rise around the world, and this is a fabulous package. The song has an irresistible exuberance and a unique energy that's captivated people all over Finland. Well, will it captivate people outside of Finland? Hitting pa lay. Oh yeah, Windows 95. I remember Windows 95. <laughs> Giving me 1990s hacker realness. The whole new keyboard. Okay, this is like Eurodance, 90s inspired, two unlimited, you know, days, aqua, that ilk of music, iPhone 95. See him slay. See me slay, okay. This is a total piss take. He's giving me Little Britain, only gay in the village okay. vibes. There's a thrust and urgency here. Uh, this is a, is a mess. Well, chant along, you know, no rules. It's got that stadium vibe, yeah? Is he, a, is he about to masturbate? Yeah, I get it. Okay, this is very cheeky. I get it. This is... <laughs> this feels like a sketch from Saturday Night Live. The melody part of this is actually very interesting because that's a good melody and that's a good vocal delivery. This is strangely this, liberating. No, I... I can't, I can't. I, I want one of those t-shirts, I kid you not. Oh, that's a really good voice. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> so affectionate. I'm the wind beneath my wings. I like this, this is so endearing. I like the visuals. Make some noise. Never-ending story. That's a falsetto right there. No rules. Key change. Made for <sighs> Eurovision. And I am dancing to it. He must be very sweaty in that pleather. High energy, cow octane. Um, I have no words. This is fun. I have no words. Oh my god. Well, that is certainly of a time and a place, and it's not a time I want to revisit, nor is it a place where I want to go.
You sing Windows 95, man, but I prefer Apple products. Give me iOS. Sorry, Microsoft. It's a no from me. Now listen, last year the Portion Boys gave us something out there, but something that was still musical, something that still had some artistic merit. This, this does not. This feels, it's an attempt at humor that isn't landing. I think it takes the piss out of the whole showbiz glamour music video thing but it just feels a little lame, and I hate to say that because they seem like such spirited, wonderful performers. Perhaps this type of humor will go down well among a Finnish audience, but I am not feeling generous. I just, this does not speak to me. This, this does not speak to me. I would not vote for this. I, I almost feel, I don't want to say it cheapens the rest of Udin Music and Kyopalu, because that would be an insult, but what I will say is that the quality of the other songs is at a particular level. And then it's like you fall off a cliff. And I'm just hoping that the next song will get us back on that plateau because this is not it. At the same time, I understand why producers would have included this. You need to have variety. You need to have songs that speak to the domestic audience. So perhaps, perhaps this is Finnish humor. Perhaps, perhaps the people, girl, this is giving me Nokia. This is giving me one of those Nokia phones from way back when. They're no longer used. They're no longer used. And this should not be used at UMK. Oh, it's it's just a little cringe, actually. And I feel, it's just a little cringe, but you have to be brave to do that. So I give them credit for that. What I like here is the fun element. I mean, Windows 95, will that name even get through UMK onto Eurovision? It sounds like an endorsement for Microsoft. Mm, you know, no commercial push allowed. Whilst I am sure he's not getting a paycheck from Microsoft, um, yeah, that is a strike in itself. But what I like here is the visual creativity. There's a sense of liberation, you know, it's all dressed up, it's very party, it's very feel-good, it's very high-octane. And surprisingly, very good vocals. Interestingly, the singing part of this is less auto-tuned. It's more quite raw vocals in a very highly computer-generated, um, on a very highly computer-generated track. And then you've got the no rules, which I think is just a built-up vacuum of voices. It could be the same voices layered over and over to give that effect. Uh, yeah, 90s Eurodance, well, you are coming back. <laughs> And this is a good way to segue into that. I like this. I like the fun of it. I like that it's going into a sort of a Eurovision national selection. So it keeps me listening to it. Is this the kind of music that I would listen to? No, this was the era that I didn't care for. However, it is also very memorable. This is really memorable. There's a part of me that's secretly rooting for this. There's a guilty pleasure vibe about this. And I must say, I have liked Windows 95 ever since they did that plain um, thing on um, the aeroplane mix of Darude Sandstorm. Anybody that loves Darude is a friend of mine because I have loved Darude for over 20 years. I mean, like, hallelujah, Darude, Darude, Darude. Whilst this video isn't about Darude, it goes to show that there is a little Darude in all of us. Praise be to Stance! Praise be to Sandstorm, Hunty! Yeah, I'm in a good mood. And this has put me in a really, really good mood. Again, another shout out to UMK for just bringing diversity to the contest. Yes, I'm happy to have this here. And I think that this is actually worthy of a place in the running. I don't think that this is an automatic, oh, this is not going through. I think this could very well go through. I mean, Finland's cha-cha-cha last year was just not, to me, it wasn't that obvious when the, all the UMK songs came out. I mean, there were some songs which I was just like, oh my God. Um, but this is also like, wow, it's different and it's refreshing. And put it this way, a part of me, actually, after this video, I will press play and listen to that. 
What do people on movie blogs say in the comments section? Oh, Purple Mask is funny. Purple Mask writes, Aha! A song called No Rules ironically follows the exact structure of almost every Eurodance song ever written. The melody is incredibly wide-ranging and comically difficult to sing. That's going to be challenging to sing live. I bet the staging for this song will be really OTT, so I'm looking forward to it. However, this really shouldn't be the winning song. It's a regular Eurodance track that follows the rules of song structure. Point of irony, maybe? So perhaps Windows 95 Man is being clever. Dandy Dancer. Fun for the UMK evening, but unfortunately it should stay as that. It's a bit too much to take at once, and there are more suitable songs for the win that might go for a wider audience. Yeah, it's always, it always makes me nervous when there's songs like this in a lineup, because what if... What if they end up going to Eurovision? Then it's like all the quality that was on show at UMK, you know, you, that's all bah. And then this gets to have the moment in the sun in Malma. I just, I hope that doesn't happen because I feel like there's some other songs in this selection that Finland could actually win and make an impact in Malma. But this, this is not that. But look, I send you my love. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Wishing you nothing but the best. All right, that's what I think. What do you think? Do you think Windows 95 Man is going to lead to a Microsoft revival? Do you think Finland could choose this? Should they choose this? Let us know here on WeWe Vlogs. Windows 95 Man, I love your mood board, but are you on Pinterest? If you are, please follow WeWe Vlogs on Pinterest, and we will see you later. And we'll see you later. Bye!